What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another Glee reaction. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 19. Let's go. Everything dies. Maybe the saddest death of all is the death of a dream. For oh my god, years, it's not over. One dream. It's not Broadway. over. Stardom. And now they're gone, and I'm just Rachel Barbara Berry of Lima, Ohio, flightless bird. Do I look different? I feel different. My dreams are smaller now. Maybe even more real. The wedding, winning nationals, prom. Prom is my night to trip the light fantastic. I'm surprisingly okay with it all. But that dream was just a favorite old sweater that I kept around even though it didn't fit anymore. I can grieve it and move on. I may have lost Niata, but I still have Finn. So I'm not gonna get everything I thought I ever wanted. <laughs> Doesn't make me a loser. Many months ago, to much fanfare, you were elected senior class president. You have accomplished nothing except one memorandum written in crayon saying, Drill, baby, drill. Yeah, I no longer believe we should be drilling for babies. You need class president on your transcript if you hope to gain admittance into college. And if you don't make an impact with the rest of your term, your presidency will be this school's last. I don't want my presidency to be the last one at McKinley. I don't want that to be my legacy. Prom is coming up, and if you want to rehabilitate your image, perhaps that's where you should start. I don't know who any of you guys are. Uh, oh, we're the prom committee. We're a little behind schedule, but we think we have a great theme for this year's prom. Okay, cool. Castles in the clouds. I like your unicorns, those are great. But I'm gonna have to say never. <laughs> what about Stairway to Heaven? Not unless we also build escalators to heaven for the disabled students. It's clear that the three of you are incompetent fools, possibly some sort of terror cell. As president, I'm gonna decide what the prom theme is gonna be this year. Oh my god. And I think dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? Yeah. That's the worst prom theme ever. When you insult my dinosaur prom theme, that's bullying, and I will not accept it. By the power vested in me as president, you are all fired. Sorry, Rachel, that includes you. <laughs> Good meeting, guys. <laughs> Good morning, oh McKinley High. First of all, to those of you thoughtful enough to leave maternity gifts much. outside my office, both I and my unborn child, thank you. And I'm sure that my trash can will find them delicious. Your choices for prom king are Rick the Stick Nelson, <laughs> President Gross. Britney S. Pierce. It's weird. And also Finn Hudson, prom queen. Becky for boss, we did that to troll. Wait, Britney is prom king? Missy Gunderson, Santana Lopez. And Quinn Fabre. Congratulations to all our nominees. Becky, 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 that's the man's key! I was lost, coach! So are you the prom you didn't get nominated for prom queen? In what world would I ever be nominated for prom queen? Well, I voted for you. Too. Very sweet of you, but I'm not upset at all, actually. We'll make your posters later, okay? A big congrats to all our prom nominees. We are all winners because Principal Figgins asked New Directions to sing again this year. <laughs> Brittany has an announcement. <laughs> They're not excited about singing at prom. <laughs> the theme for this year's prom will be dinosaurs. Sheer genius. I was inspired by the new girl, Joe, who reminds me of a cablewoman. To keep the prom elections completely by board, I have appointed Santana and Quinn to count the ballots. Yes, Quinn's my homegirl, but I don't trust her. And you know she doesn't trust me. We'll keep each other honest. And last but not least, all hair gel has been banned from the prom. Right. I'm actually not joking. Hair gel was not invented until almost 30 million years after the Upper Paleolithic Stone Age. Okay. She is Let's start too thinking much. Of dinosaur songs. Blaine's like, are we serious about the hair gel or? Hey, I'm gonna have to watch my fiance dance in front of the entire school with his ex-girlfriend at my senior prom. Hey, Quinn can't dance. She asked me if I would campaign with her and I figured it, it was the least I could do for our friend. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of having a I mean, bad I week get, myself. I get both sides, really. Good, 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 come on. All right, now let go of your hands. Good, come on. No, 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 no. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I knew you could do it. That was fantastic. Thank you for always coming with me. Totally selfish. I get to hang with you. Take a break, then let's show everyone. Glee. No. Wow, no. this is huge. Because it has to be real. You know, maybe if I had practiced a lot, I could walk into the choir room or even prom. So until then, just promise me you won't tell anybody. You're going to be dancing at prom. I know it. I, Becky Faye Jackson, was born to be queen. Queens don't always have to look the same, you know. Sometimes they're shorter or wear glasses. Becky, I understand you're upset, but this scorched earth reign of terror must come to an end. First, you declared war on xylophones. Then you ransacked the cafeteria line. But, Coach, I won. 
gonna be a palm green, just like I just saw that commercial. Oh, Becky, commercials aren't real life. Haven't you seen Mad Men? No. <laughs> you just didn't have the votes. Your poster sent a bit of a mixed message, and I mean this as a compliment. You're a bitch, Becky. With oh. a bad <laughs> attitude. With Quinn Fabray in a wheelchair, the sympathy vote was split. And please be careful walking past my brand new xylophone. <laughs> That's the attitude right there, Becky. He said, screw your damn xylophone. Care about you. Or your xylophone. Oh, this is a bop. This is a jam. That this has nothing to do with you. And I'm gonna miss you like yes. Yes. Oh, Blaine and Rachel and always sound so good together. I love so much hair yeah. gel. That was fun. That was a jam. That was a bop. I feel like that was a prom? long Cause... time. It's just how I'm to... feeling right now, okay? I don't want to watch Finn and Hear the Clint first song in an and episode, Clean right? Prom, and I don't I like want to watch him normally. dance with her. She's right. I don't want to go either. Well, you have to go. You're the reigning prom queen. You have to crown the next one. As much as I love a good coronation, with this school's strong and insane tradition of writing ballots, I could get elected prom queen again. And I know I put on a brave face last year, but it was humiliating. Well, how do you think I feel with Britney's insane ban on hair gel? The sheer amount of static electricity in that room is going to be terrifying. You've never seen my hair without gel. It's, it's baby hair fine. No, it, I'm going to look like Medusa. That's not funny. I don't want to go. Well, if we're all going to be so <laughs> about it who says we have to go you're right kurt kurt and lane and i are throwing an anti-prom party it's a party for those of us who maybe feel a little you know disenfranchised by the actual prom and everyone's invited you're supporting this i'm supporting her and i'll be there as soon as i'm done fulfilling my obligations the food will be catered the patients will be plentiful catered. and the dress code will be creative black top optional how is everyone welcome when this is clearly just a party for you and the two gay winklevi twins we've invited most of mckinley's <laughs> underclassmen i wanted to invite you to our anti-prom party i'll think about it i'm in <laughs> but what about your tradition of trying to spike coach investor's punch bowl it's impossible plus it's a bummer always failing rachel barry isn't getting her way so she's punishing the rest of us that's not the case at all stop acting like you're fine and start dealing with your crap imploding on one of the last nights that we have to spend together because basically you're just not in the mood to dance is maybe the pettiest thing you have ever done so have fun at your i'm a victim party acting like you're not some selfish self-centered lame-ass wannabe diva from hell i'm gonna go to my senior prom with my girlfriend and my friends well then you do that you can't be too pleased by that stunt rachel's falling i kind of feel bad for her she's going through a lot of rough stuff you forget that you're talking to a girl in a wheelchair we've That's come good. full circle <laughs> that'd be clear there bear. will be no extracurricular activity at this time i'm going <laughs> to heal bear, there can't. are no tire store majors there well neither are there at the actor's studio where i'm applying you're so brave to be doing this thank you the atrophy in my leg is a constant reminder of slow withering remnants of my past life People like you inspire me. Your healthy, normal legs are beautiful. You've got my vote. Ooh. Wow, that was super creepy. Don't you feel kind of weird using your injury to get the sympathy vote like that? Votes are votes, Finn. Right. Well, I don't really agree. I actually really love dinosaurs. Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> you are a dinosaur. <laughs> get it. Is this a real song? You're pretty old. <laughs> hey. 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 This might be one of the most ridiculous songs I've ever heard in my life. What is this song? Oh my god. And seven tablespoons of Sue's giving everybody the shits. She would. I would expect nothing less. Leo. What was that? Hey, Quinn. Quinn, you in here? I mean, I love Brittany and her dancing was fire, but... You can walk. Isn't it amazing? You're seeing me take my first steps. You lied to us. To everybody. My legs are getting better, but I wanted it to be a surprise. You know, for when I walk up there and, and get my crown, the crowd will go wild. I really want this. Yeah. But Rachel needs me, and I picked you over her. Do, do you know how stupid that I makes mean, me feel? You're gonna have your crown. You're gonna go to Yale. Rachel has none of that. And tonight, thanks to you, she doesn't even have me. I need you. No, you don't need me. Okay? You're still the same old Quinn. All that matters is you. To be mad at her about the walking thing, I think, is stupid because she was working on that. We used to have at least one dance together, 
I know you don't understand how much this means to me, but... And I don't think it was guaranteed that she me, would please. would would be able to. So I think that's <laughs> kind of silly to be mad Hi, at her let about. Let the very first annual McKinley High Anti-Prom begin. Oh, look, there's chocolates on the pillows. We got room service. What should we do now? Play strip poker. I forgot to. Blaine and I are gay, remember? Now it's not me before. <laughs> well, I mean, no matter what, it'll be oh better. Oh, my God. The problem is a sucker's paradise. Woo! Becky, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but will you just keep it down with the shouting? So, I wouldn't mind watching a little TV. I love um, her. Maybe some Bravo? Dude, it's a hotel. It's got to be Skinamax. We could put on a fashion show. I'd love to show you guys my prom dress. Worst anti prom ever. Right, like, did you plan anything for it, it's Rachel? Done, yes. I guess we'll play Santana looks gorgeous. With the blue, First time we danced together, like, this is a last year's prom. I yeah, remember when I told you we were going to get back together and you told me I was crazy. Song, baby. I saw Looks like everyone's happy tonight. I mean, I, I prefer Santana singing this over the original. It's just one dance. Can you finish it with me? As soon as you stand up. Show everybody how much you deserve this. Are you really doing this right now? Make you stand up and show everybody how much of a crazy liar you are? Yeah. What's going on, dude? Did you know that she can walk too? But you must have with all that physical therapy. Uh, what is wrong oh, with you? Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Huh? You forcing me to eject you from yet another prom, Hudson? Chill, bro. What this time, bitch? Did he say, did he say bitch? Did he say bitch? It's the one with the past. I think Finn's got to chill a little bit. Uh, Finn, you got to chill just a little bit, bud. I wish Tabitha would take over this anti prom. Oh my God, I used to love yeah. Tabitha Salon Takeover. If you wanted to go to the prom, I would have gone with you. <laughs> I am not going to give in to Brittany's insane ban on hair gel. You haven't seen me without an enormous amount of hair gel in my hair. It's, it's really bad. Hey, Becky. Where's Rachel? She's been in the bathroom for 45 minutes. Wow. What are you she doing looks. I love you. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Prom sucks without you. Wow. That might be the prettiest she's ever looked. Prom sucks without all you guys. I want to dance with my fiance. I want to dance with my friends. So, are you guys going to come? No, I'll take like you right to a cocktail. <laughs> I'm good. And you guys go ahead. Come on, dude. He's my wingman. I'll go next year. Is he going to be a fifth year senior? Are you ready for strip poker pokemon? <laughs> Socks? Count as one item. <laughs> she looks amazing. I'm so glad you guys came. Better late than never, right? Come on, let's dance. You're insecure. You're turning no, sorry, Blaine. I said no hair gel, remember? I can totally smell it. You can oh, do come this. on. Talk about a jam. Talk about a jam. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, yes. 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 Uh, Sue, get it. Get it. Jam. Such a jam. Suck on these, Pokemon. I love Trip it. Aces. <laughs> oh my god, Getting seriously? Sharp. Where'd you learn to play? In a joint. I'm one losing hand away from an extremely awkward situation, so do you mind laying off a little bit? I'm too pissed off. Why? I couldn't get nominated for Palm Queen. Coach Sue said I couldn't get the vote. You really wanted that crown, huh? More than anything. It hurts, Pop. Becky Jackson, I'm putting some clothes on because I have an idea. Really? Yeah. We still haven't crowned a king and queen for the anti-prom, have we? No, we haven't. Aww, Bust Pop. <laughs> If you ask me, I think the anti-prom is the most important prom of all. First, we need a king. Nice. And then now we need a queen. I hope I get it. <laughs> this is Jackson, so cute. I crown you the queen of the anti-prom. Take a look. Oh my gosh. I did it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Your Highness, what do you say we get out of here? Sure. I love her. <sighs> my print. Oh, they're cute. Hey, I got your text. You have three minutes. The voting has started and I need to get out there and press the flash. Look, I owe you an apology. I, I found out that you and Finn they were campaigning vote in together person? and I kind of freaked out. Well, since I had no idea that was going on, it's pretty easy to forgive you. Wait, do you not understand what you mean to me? When we first met, you were everything I wanted to be. Beautiful and popular and you had Finn. 
how the mighty have fallen. No, you don't understand. I still see you that way, okay? That's why I got so crazy. I wasn't seeing the new Quinn, the still beautiful but humbled and, and inspiring Quinn. I've lost so much over these past few weeks. I honestly don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with my life, but... But when I look back on my high school career, the one thing, the one accomplishment that I'm gonna be so proud of is that I found a way to be your friend. So I'm, I'm apologizing to my friend. And I also want you to know that I voted for you for prom queen, and I really think you deserve it. Stop making out with Barry and get to the Spanish room, Quinn. It's time to count the votes and declare me the winner. <laughs> right. Bye. Good luck. Who's going to win? Who's it going to be? Drop that Who's it going to be? You try to fight my butt. No, I'm not. I'm just thirsty. I'm dehydrated from all the crying. That dress is hideous. Rude. You're at senior prom with a crown on your head and a hot piece of booty on your arm. Game on, beautiful. Becky, I don't care which dope we crown here tonight. You are truly the queen of this joint. Oh, my God. Is that night for Eddie Wouters? Oh, I knew I should have done another security sweep. I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see anything. That tiny little bit of flask, that ain't going to do nothing. Thank you for making my dream come true, my queen. Oh my god, that's so cute. Don't get it. How could Britney have only gotten four votes? This dino prom theme was a smash. Screw this. I don't want to be queen if Brit isn't king. Well, good, because my account for queen was the same as yours. I won by one vote. I won. It's everything I've ever wanted. I won. And I don't feel any different. I mean, I guess you deserve to win, right? You know, we really have had the dream high school careers. Mega popular doing whatever we wanted. You know, I'm really not surprised that you and I were the top two candidates. Well, you know, it would be boring if we weren't so awesome. But don't you want to leave this place having made a difference? They're going to fix it. Oh, my dear God. Don't make fun of the new kid with the bad fro. It's terrible. Is she really that bad? It's really bad. And you made your point. I abuse my power as president. I'll give you special permission to wear hair gel immediately. Quiet, please, children. Oh, his hair looked fine. Right don't you dare. I love finally getting to see the real you. And I want everyone here to know just how proud I am of my brave... Was that his character. real hair, though? And now, this year's prom court. <laughs> Nominees for the prom king are Finn Hudson, Rick the Stick Nielsen, Boo. Boo. and President Brittany S. Pierce. I love her Nominees outfit. for prom queen, Missy Gunderson. Santana Lopez and Miss Quinn Fabre. I would like to invite last year's queen, sassy male student Kurt Hummel, to crown this year's winners. Sassy male student? Is that what they said? What he said? And this year's prom king is hmm, Mr. Finn Hudson. And the winner for prom queen is... Students for the second year in a row, we have prom anarchy. Receiving the majority of write-in votes, I would like to welcome on the stage, Miss Rachel Barry. What? Okay, so I get the sentiment. I get the idea. But don't you think people would be like, who'd you vote for? Who'd you vote for? I didn't vote for her. Did you write her in? I think they do the math, but I think that is sweet of them to do. Bow down to your new leaders. I mean, she might end up being bummed when she finds out that it wasn't based on votes. Now, it was fixed. First dance of this year's senior king and queen. Is Jessica Simpson here? That's a no. Is this some kind of joke or something? I mean, like Kurt last year, someone to throw pig's blood on me next, I can carry. You're sexy. You're beautiful. You're an inspiration to every single person in this room, just like you are to me. It's amazing. Are you really crying? I just oh, don't want it to end. Just wish it could go on forever. I don't want it to end either. Where's everybody gonna go? Oh, he loves her. They sound really good together. 
I love Blaine's hair like that. Never in a million years would I have thought that someone like me would win prom queen. But if my friends believe in me enough to see me this way, then I don't know, maybe anything's possible. Oh, a confetti moment. Cute, cute, cute. I dig it. That was a good episode with some solid music choices, I would say. I do think that, like, I do like the idea of Rachel being prom queen. I do think that that's cool. I think that... I wish they would have wrote it a different way, though. You know what I mean? Like, I think her getting it because the two girls decided it. Which, I mean, kudos to them. I think that that's cool on their part because it kind of, like, welcomes them... Welcomes her to, like, their club, quote-unquote, I would say. But, like... I don't know i just feel like i would be pretty bummed out if i was rachel if i found that out you know what i mean on one hand on the other hand she would probably feel good that like those two girls see her that way you know i don't know i thought it was pretty cool but yeah i can't believe there's only a couple more episodes for this season i love that they gave becky some time to shine in that episode i love her character i can't wait to see can't wait to see what happens over the next couple let me know what y'all thought about this episode and i'll see you on the next one bye